potato chip tip <coughs> waited in the bath in the lab before he heated it up to burn the potato chip to determine the heat of combustion. Now, no, no, don't try this at home. Don't burn your potato chips. Eat it. So anyways, it is 1.75 grams. We'll leave that for later. In our container, we have 150 milliliters of H2O. So we're going to need that. So mass of H2O is 1.75 gram. Uh, in our container, we have Hmm. Wait. 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 This is wrong. This is actually 150 milliliters. Sorry. The initial temperature uh, is uh, tw 21 degrees Celsius, and the final temperature is 85 degrees Celsius. To find the change of temperature, which we are delta T equals uh, T final minus T initial. So, the final is, let's look here, 85 degrees Celsius minus the initial is 21 degrees Celsius. So now we know the change of temperature in the water is 64 degrees Celsius. Now you might think it's Q equals M cat, but surprisingly, these two, these two components are what we all need. We don't have to use the, we don't have to use the heat capacity for water. Instead, we'll replace it with this. One calorie divided by one degree Celsius, one gram. And this is also going to be important. One milliliter equal to one gram. One, one meter equals to one is equal to one thousand milliliters, which is equal well, to one thousand grams too, because a meter is one thousand grams. You should already know that conversion. Yes, now that's going to be helpful for a bit. Now. Find the heat absorbed by the water. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. We can erase that. So, Q is equal to M, remember this, one calorie divided by one degree Celsius, one gram. We're going to need this though. Q equals M cat. This is our equation. So, surprisingly, these two are all we need. We don't need the heat capacity. You should already know it, but you don't need to use it. So, 150 milliliters. Just have to look over there. Instead, we use one calorie divided by one degree Celsius, one gram. Oops, I messed up my D times 64 degrees Celsius. Now, this and this cancel. And remember, what, one, uh, if we, if we, yeah, one milliliter is one gram. Yeah. That is helpful. We're, I told you we'll need that. So milliliter grams cancel. So 150 times 64. Hey, I'll give you a bit of time to use the calculator. Okay. So if you... Uh, if you uh, type uh, your numbers in the calculator, you will get 9,600 9, calories. Now, B. How much calories or slash food calories are stored in the potato chips before it's burned? So, uh, this is just asking 
gas. This is a tasking gas to convert the normal calories into food calories. So, just like the conversion here, we're going to need another conversion. 1,000 uh, cal regular calories equals 1 food calories. Now, that, that's how many calories you see in actual food, like chicken you eat every day. So, okay. So this would be easy. 9,600 calories, you just need to convert it times, uh, we use the conversion. So 1,000 is on the bottom. 1,000 calories is one food cal calorie is on the top. Now calorie calories cancel. Never eat your potato chip when you burn them, 9,600 food calories divided by 1,000. If you use the calculator, that will be 9.6, but you should know that if you cancel out the zeros. Wait, no, this is wrong. So you will get 96 over 10, which is 9.6. So 9.6 food calories. Now, as you should know, 
186.32 is the law. And that's, <coughs> they're not the same because a amount of, of water evaporates. The amount of water that evaporates is found in F. The uh, amount of water of and amount of water evaporates and heats up the air. Just like to use the sword hand. <coughs> so F find the percent error to calculate how off you are. Don't draw this. So, F, find the percent error, right? So, the percent error equation is the accepted value. Our accepted value is the one up here, minus our measured value, which is right here, right here. Divided by our accepted value times 100. 100 is a pretty big number anyway, but you should know the basics of 100. So F is 210 minus 186.32 divided by, divided by, uh, calculate with B. Okay, look at this. M minus 186.32 is equal to, so we divide our answer by 210. Yeah, so I'm just using the shorthand. I'll only write the answer. So this gives us about 0 0.11, 0 0.11276 right here. And we multiply that by 100. It gives us 11.276%. I hope you subscribe to Barry Tide Club for more videos <laughs> and uh, don't forget my book is coming out. The love. <laughs>